I would say script is the first thing because that, uh, however brilliant you are about everything else to do with it, you still got that turkey right in the middle. And it, it, you may make it better than it was. We always thought we made a dog better than it was. Right. But the truth is, if you sing it for the first time, it was still a dog. You know? And uh, all your work really might have made it better, but it wasn't good enough. And that happened to us enough times. But uh, uh, this thing, I thought, uh, in casting, you really can do a lot. I think it's, uh, you can make up for a dearth in, within the script, and you, you can't make a good script out of a bad script, but you make up for it. And uh, if you also have it well-directed, the director can bring something more out of it from the actor, from the script. And, and of course, and casting the brings the audience in. Absolutely. Yeah. That was one of the things the producer really, I think, has to, you have to have more, I won't say be smarter, you have to have more common sense than all the people who are working around you because you can't afford to be the artist. You may think you are and you may truly be, but it's got to be the kind of artist who's inside somewhere because you can't be crazy. You can't suddenly be like a director who once said to me when we were over length, and the, and the uh, actors were, were dragging uh, in the re dress rehearsals, was getting slower and slower, so we're getting more and more out of work. And I finally just said to him, the director, uh, we, have a, we have a big problem here. We've got to take out big lumps and big everything. Uh, 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 chunks make it easier because we're too close to air to start little bitsy cuts. And he was still excited from getting on with the show and doing everything. And in this was in the control room. And he said, Martin, you've got to call New York and tell them there can't be any commercials this week. <laughs> no commercials. Well, you know, if you were the kind of idiot that would get on the phone to say there'd be no commercials this week, you'd be the one who would be never see the inside of a studio again. Not the director who told you to do that. You know, so I, of course, calmed him down and said. Could you, could you please uh, identify who that director was? John Frankenheimer. Uh -huh. And luckily, uh, I loved him, so I didn't have to. We were very good friends. We were very close friends.